Why are men afraid of commitment? Why are women afraid of commitment? What are the possible reasons why they are afraid of commitment? What are they afraid of? Let's highlight the both gender. Where do I start from? Men good looking, intelligent, intuitive, but they don't want to commit. They have everything going well. And at the same time, <laughs> they tell themselves that marriage is not in my books for now. Why? Let's check a few peculiar, and this is actually from serious research. I didn't just sit down and say this, this, no. Everything I'm teaching there is from serious research. And that's why it can resonate with a lot of people. It's not just from the crumbs. Amen. Number one, this is a very serious reason. Serious issue in the world of men. Many men are afraid of changes a woman will make as time goes by. Do you know what I'm talking about? Let's deal with this in different areas. Many men are afraid. Look up everybody. Are you with me? They look at a girl. And thought, you are sounding well now. You are making sense now. <laughs> you are humble now. You are loving now. But when we say we do, hope you will not change. They've, they've seen other things in life of their friends. The loving girl that the friend married, the uncle, and all that. And that suddenly changed. And doesn't want to see people again. Nobody comes to greet us in our house. This is our matrimonial home. And sometimes that's not the kind of fear they have. They are afraid that this person that is looking figure eight now, say you will not blow. Hope this person is not just going to get big. And how will I be able to cope? Sometimes they are, we have to be very real. They are afraid that by the time children start coming, what will you look like? They try to imagine what will be the aftermath of raising children. Will she still be fine? Will she she'll make sense? How will she treat my friends and families? What can change? Well, newsflash. The woman is not the only one changing. You are changing too. That's the fact. We all experience life and we change. You will not be as young as you are in the next 10 years. You are changing. Your hairline is already going inside. And she too didn't plan to marry a man who is bald or semi-bald or potentially which is okay and sometimes it's the size of your stomach eating good food and it's shooting out and she also likes his packs and you have changed there is this sense of pride men have that you get to have more of your youthfulness even at 40 and 50 compared to a woman it's not so true it depends on how the both gender use their body that's the fact can i give a balance to this issue this is the balance. Fall in love with your partner for something beyond their body, beyond their looks. Fall in love with the spirit, with the orientation, with the mind. I'm not saying looks don't matter. It's okay. God is not a killer of joy. He's not going to give you what you don't like. God has never forced marriage on anybody. I didn't like her, but God insisted. God insisted. You didn't hear well. That's not God. Our definition of love must not be shallow. Everybody make changes. And that's why marriage is not for boys, it's for men. How do you know a boy? He's not emotionally mature. The wife is pregnant, she's throwing up, he's covering his nose. You married her, he's throwing towards say, it will just be fine. As a boy, a real man is daddy. He fathers the woman. He's many things to her. Marriage is not for the surface. Even your children that you give birth to, they will not remain children, they change. So change happens. And there are negative changes that people have experienced that informs their fear much more. And we have to talk about that. For instance, can I be very real with you? Or should I just keep it? Can I be very real with you? One of the things you must learn how to do, either as male or female, is to learn to maintain your attractiveness. Some women can be careless. We are married now. It's a rapper up and down. Tap, tap, tap. Rapper. They even learn how to tie it around the neck. This same you that was smart, wearing correct stuffs. No, 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 they don't marry you two weeks. Na rapper. No, you are not the wife of Madioa. You are not from, you are not doing or show, show boy river. But it's a rapper. And you are not carrying sacrifice. You won't. What I'm trying to say is that package yourself in a way that you will not be a dealing to your spouse. You know what a dealing is? That God is dealing with you by giving you this person. That's a dealing. More like a cross. Don't make yourself a cross. Then in marriage, people don't talk sincerely. Some men don't like a tie scarf. Tell her, don't say that book of First Corinthians, shut up. I don't like this. You are my wife. Remove it. When you make this hairstyle, it makes your face change. Say it. 
That's why you must see this jumping from zero to hundred is a sign that we are not wise. Become friends. Why should you marry somebody you can't talk to? I don't think it's a big conversation to tell your spouse that you have bad breath. It's not a big deal. See, being real is not a big deal. A job chingum. So this thing will declare. You tell each other as what? Not that you are dying silently and you're just regretting and emoting and saying, you know that. Shut up. Tell her. I like you better on skirt than on trouser or on trouser than on skirt. Say it. Many of these things can be controlled. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I am saying? Because the African culture is not built on sincerity. It is built on psychophancy. We like psychophants. Those who sing our praise songs. Even when you are not doing well. I taught a, 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 a message. What many men are afraid to tell their wives and what women are afraid to tell their husband. Deep one. You are not ready for it. I would have given you. Anyone who attended that meeting, no, I, we shattered the bush. Shattered. Think of the worst thing in this life that no pastor will not be free to say. I said it. I said it. I told them. I told them. Many of them will go back home and begin to talk. Why should you be married and not talking? Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yes. So people are afraid of changes because they don't communicate. Changes you make. You kind of this, 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 this. <laughs> oh yes I would have loved to say some things but they are 18 plus one time we invited a woman to come and talk to us about relationship doing service they came said we're coppers said there are many times I would have loved to say but you people are young people nonsense the daughter that was in secondary school I was the one counseling the girl the girl has gone far my mind is saying people are young people to coppers people make changes sir. and sometimes you have things that fascinate you in a woman true be sure where they are coming from because they can become idols the, the word the bible used to describe the man who is married is husband that word describes one that beautifies a garden like a gardener what your garden is is a reflection of your skill including how your wife dresses i have more designs for women for my wife on my phone than design for myself i check i send check this out because i don't want to stand on the altar and saying i wish i didn't marry my wife no everything you want your spouse to be she can be except not the one that you are trying to make her be something outside god because there are men that are they are narcissists do you understand what i'm saying here? they will tell you that you have to do some surgery so that your nose can be like the nose of this you have to do some lips something you put silicone in your breast so it can be pointed this person looks like he's is remaking you like god did not make you enough that's it. That's that kind of person. Once you start talking around, just pack your load, pack your shoe. Don't even wear the shoe. Pack the shoe. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? People are afraid of changes. And changes are real. Some changes are scary though. But they can be managed. So men are afraid of changes women will make as time goes by. Both character and physiological. Number two. Many men are afraid of insubordination. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 21 verse 19. Proverbs 21 verse 19. Can you give me that scripture? I'd like for it to be on the screen. So we can, I want us to look at this scripture and look at it. Better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. Let me read it in Amplified Translation. It says, it is better to dwell in a desert than with a contentious woman with vexation. I love God's word translation. It's better to dwell in, to live in a desert than with a quarreling and angry woman. Quarreling, always quarreling. Always quarreling, picking fight with husband, with neighbor, with everything, picking fight. Always quarreling. If never takes like quarrel, everything quarrel. Good news says it's better to live out in desert than with a nagging, complaining wife. Many people don't know what it means to nag, and they are the one, those who don't know what it means to nag are the ones that nag. You are nagging. So I'm not nagging. Is this what they call nagging? You are arguing. Say I'm not arguing. Is this argument? According to them, we have not even brought out the cards from the bag. I am just getting started. Do you have the capacity for peace? This is when I ask this question, unless you are experienced, you think it's a joke. Some people don't have the capacity for peace. They they by themselves can quarrel with themselves, like they are quarrelsome. I need to give very much explanation. If everything get them pissed and they will not keep quiet they will have the last say you can't argue with them and be the last person to talk they will have the last say and the worst mistake you can make is to not tell them i forgive you i forgive you means that they were wrong you forgive me you forgive me 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 
you must be an idiot. Do you, oh yes. Do you know the number of things in this house that I'm taking for you? I get, I get, I get, I get. You are now saying you forgive me? They will prefer to win an argument than to have a home. That's dangerous. And sometimes, listen to what I want to say. It may sound a bit striking, but it's true. And I have proofs. It's because we raise firstborn girls like men. Yes. Many times. Sometimes that's the problem. I know that's a very bitter pill to swallow. But it's the truth. In fact, opportunity to serve in church can destroy your marriage as a girl. Yes. I've said some of you before. I've called you several times. Be careful as you serve. So you don't become a man while serving. Hey, you go do that there. Hey, you. Boys cannot marry another man. You have to first be a girl. And what is fascinating about a girl is your feminine nature, the softness. When a guy sees anything hard, he confronts it. When he sees anything soft, he protects it, except for a stupid guy. That word is not an insult, it's in context. Listen, there's no way we can deal with this and not be hard many years. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Even if you are serving in a church, and let's say, for instance, you are a pastor, but your husband is a member. Let me tell you, there are compromises to make. People came late to church, workers. You know, say, everybody be on your feet now. They're talking to you. You came late to this church. Your husband is amongst them. You will pass, we say that if you don't eat yam because of oil, you will eat the oil because of the yam. Sometimes, once you see that this person, you'll say, everybody just sit down. This is the last one. I move on. Do you understand what I'm saying? 